Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is check if string is rotated by two places. The question states that given two strings A and B, the task is to find if the string B can be obtained by rotating another string A by exactly two places. Let's consider the examples. In example 1, string A is Amazon and string B is AZO and AM. So as we can see that if we rotate the string A in anti-clockwise direction, then we get a, Z, O and A, M. Therefore, we return 1 or true. Similarly, in case of example 2, we have two strings namely geeks for geeks and geeks geeks for. So, as we can see that if we rotate the string A either anti-clockwise direction or clockwise, we don't get the string geeks geeks for. Therefore, the output here is 0. So, now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where we have the strings S1 and S2 as Amazon and AZO NAM. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we have a function called is rotated whose arguments are the string S1 and S2. We declare few variables namely length1 and length2 and initialize them with the lengths of string S1 and S2 respectively. We also create two temporary strings namely temp1 and temp2 which are used to store the right rotation and left rotation of the strings S1. So initially we check whether if either the length of string S1 or S2 is less than 2. If so, then we check whether if both the strings are equal. If they are equal then we return true, else we return false. Then we create a right rotation string of S1 that is initially we append the substring of S1 which is from the second character up to the last character that is we append A, Z, O, N and then we also append the first two characters of S1 which are AM. So we get the string AZO and AM. Similarly, we also create the left rotation by appending the first, sorry, by appending the last two characters of the string S1 which are ON and then we append the first four characters which are AM, AZ. So we have a string temp2 as ON, AM, AZ. And then we check whether if temp1 is equal to s2 or temp2 is equal to s2. Since we have the string temp1 as equal to s2, therefore we return true. So now let's have a look at the actual code. The driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function is rotated whose return type is bool and the arguments are the string s1 and s2. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we create two temporary strings namely temp1 and temp2 and store the lengths of s1 and s2 in the variables length1 and length2. We initially check whether if either length1 or length2 is less than 2. If so then we compare both the strings. If they are equal then we return true else we return false. Then we create a right rotation by first appending the, the substring from the third character to the last character and then we append the first two characters. So we get the right rotation which is stored in temp1. Similarly, we create the left rotation by first storing the last two characters of the string and then the remaining characters we append to the string temp2. And at last we check whether if either temp1 is equal to s2 or temp2 is equal to s2. If any of this condition is true, then we return true, else we return false. So we can compile a code. The code is compiled and we can submit it now. And it got submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.